what is up we're back you're back i'm back we're here together hanging out for a little bit appreciate you stopping by as always it is your boy we're gonna get into a little more pre-orders hope you guys aren't getting tired of them because i'm gonna keep pre-ordering doesn't matter it's cool but these ones i'm gonna show off uh i guess it's considered would it still be considered anime i don't know or if it's just cartoon or there's a fine line there uh, i guess it's still anime technically but Yu-Gi-Oh! that's the hint for this video for this theme that's what we're getting into i got some pre-orders from the majority of them are from chalice one is another gamestop pre-order again if you guys didn't catch the vibe from the last videos pre-orders are where it's at five bucks the pop shares pay it off up front when you got time whenever go pick up your pop so we're gonna get into it like i said Yu-Gi-Oh. so we're gonna start with mr yugi himself and again shout out chalice collectibles always shipping them in protectors i appreciate it i don't have to get any extra protectors for my pops i'm gonna do my best to try to get you guys the top angle of yugi Yo, this anime itself, uh, I love. I did collect the cards when I was younger. Collected Pokemon cards, collected Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, dope, super dope. But Yugi, I like this one. He's in his, his outfit, obviously. He's got the medallion, the pendant, and then holding the cards, you know, to play in the game, he's going. Right next to him, we'll have his best bud his buddy in arms mr joey wheeler he's got a deck of cards as well his hair's flowing a young pretty boy so to say um and yeah like i said we got Yu-Gi-Oh pops that's what this episode's about that's what we're getting into i wasn't the biggest fan i guess of joey i mean he's cool but for some reason oh that's what it was it was like a bundle sale on chalice they had they had them together and i was like yo I'll go ahead and just get the bundle because it's a deal. Who's going to pass up a deal? I'll tell you who won't. Your boy. And then we got Maximilian Pegasus, kind of the main arch enemy or, you know, bad guy on Yu-Gi-Oh. But this one's actually really dope. Obviously, he's in his pose. He's holding cards as well, but it's showing his, um, as, as opposed to the normal, regular, you know, as you can see, kind of side by side. Uh, the Funko Pop eyes, how they're just kind of... They got their own style to him, but Maximilian Pegasus, he still has his, um, I don't know what you would call it, not a medallion, still pendant type of thing, uh, talisman in his eye, that's super fire, I like that, I really like that one a lot. Alright, the next two, I really like, this one, Cash may like, we got, I, one of my first videos, Blue Eyes White Dragon, if you guys saw it, if you haven't, go check it out. That value actually went up, it's like 70 bucks now, 60 bucks, so I was happy I got that one. Uh, what we got here, we got the Red Eyes Black Dragon. This was a fire pre-order, and I'm glad it came bundled up, so I was like, you know, why not? So I'm going to try to get this top angle for you guys, so you can just get a little bit of a better look. And then as you can see, you got the set on the back. So I'm not really one for, I've said it before, for completing sets. I'm not a completionist, uh, but this one kind of just kind of happened to fall into place. But this one is super dope to have. I really like this one, the pose and everything. The I mean, red eyes, black dragon. That's just a cool name within itself. You know what I'm saying? That being said, it's not in my opinion and this might be factual it's not a cooler name than this one right here which i was super excited to get exodia the forbidden one if you've seen the show if you know about exodia you know he's the real deal when yugi gets all the cards places them and finally assembles exodia yo it's game over so i like this one so much i've said it before i'm not a collector of six inch pops or 10 inch pops just the bigger pops themselves because they take up a bunch of real estate they, it's a bunch of space but this one 
I was not gonna pass up. I had to get this one. This is the only bigger size pop I have, I own. I like it so much, like I said, I broke my own rule and I got it, Exodia, so super fire. But this is my Yu-Gi-Oh collection. If anyone's got Yu-Gi-Oh cards still, uh, I'll buy some and we can do them and we can figure it out, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, here to sign off real quick. Again, first, thanks for stopping by. Real quick, drop in the comments, let me know what was your favorite. If, you, if you're a fan of the show, even if you're not just based off the appearance, the name, whatever attracts you, what was your favorite, you know, out of the bunch? So this week's shout out is actually going to go to uh, a good Funko friend, as he likes to call it, Mr. Mikey Vintage. His channel, he does a bunch of unboxings strictly pops um i actually enjoy watching his videos a bunch just his energy and everything he does uh it's dope content so guys make sure you go check him out obviously his stuff will be down below in the description as always as everyone else's is make sure you check it out go by show him some love shout out mikey vintage keep being cool and we'll see you next time ah oh, gee <laughs>